Photographer Geoffrey Hill of Sedgefield has beaten tough competition to have one of his photographs featured in the Country File calendar. I asked him how this all came about. Well, we were walking over the park with my grandson, Reese, and he spotted a hole at the base of a tree. So he said, Granda, what's this? And I said, well, looks like a mouse's nest. So we, we investigated it, and what we tied when we were looking, there was a mouse, and he, she peeped the head out of the hole. So I was, you know, I was gobsmacked with that myself. So I'd forgot about it on that year, but the next year I went, which is 2009, I went back to investigate the hole. And sure enough, there was the man coming out backwards and forwards. So I went periodically and saw her bringing her babies out. So I started to feed them to attract them to this particular spot that I wanted for them to be there, and they did. So I spent hours and hours getting the right shot and that's, that was the only time that I actually saw five babies sat with the mother. And I'm over the moon because it's reached the country file BBC calendar and I hope that it, um, it raises a lot of money for them. And tell me Jeff, what are the qualities of a good wildlife photographer? A good wildlife photographer, you've got to know your subject and you've got to be very patient, obviously. It, take, it took almost a year to get this shot. Um, but you've got to know your subject and treat them accordingly. And would you say this is your biggest success to date? Yes, it will, yes it will be, yes. Yeah. And what other things have you managed to capture around Harvey Country Park? Well, virtually all the indigenous wildlife. Um, kingfishers, uh, hares, um, there was one particular time there was a, a little um, gold crest which is really, really rare. <laughs>